What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel, a late night upload, but it's something that having gotten back from my evening and coming back to this, it is the most insane thing to be able to talk to you about because we're talking about Call of Duty World War II, not just the era, but the title of potentially the next Call of Duty title, 2017's installment into the Call of Duty franchise presented and developed by Sledgehammer Games. And my friends, it is the end of March and we might have the first credible leak for Call of Duty 2017. Now that does not get you hypes. I don't know what will. The hype train is starting to roll now, getting that first little bit of momentum. So it's not fully out of the station just yet, but people are getting pulled on and we're starting to get ready for our departure here. And if that is not exciting as is, I don't know what is. And I don't really ever come right out and say, like this video if you guys are excited or anything, but honestly for this, I think it's warranted. And if you guys are excited, drop a like down below if you guys do enjoy the idea of a World War II Call of Duty. But personally and initially, I thought this would be Call of Duty Vietnam, but World War II just pulls on my nostalgia and feels so hard and I'm perfectly okay with that. Let's talk about this leak here a little bit. As for the leak, it is simply called Call of Duty World War II. Now there's a couple things that go into this before we get into the actual leak because a lot of this could be just verified by some recent claims in the Call of Duty world. Firstly, it was confirmed that we're going back to the roots by Activision themselves in their most recent earnings call. And of course, everybody from Sledgehammer to Call of Duty to Michael Condry to Glenn Schofield, all these people of importance within the Call of Duty world have all said Boots on the Ground is returning this year. So those two things, it's nicely to go back to that theme of World War II, does it not? So earlier today, somebody posted over on Reddit and YouTube, they go by the name of the Family Video Gamers, and there were a bunch of images for not only just some concept art, a poster maybe that is going to be a pre-order poster, and then also steelbook art, which is absolutely fascinating to me that that is something that would be leaked this early. That's something that is usually given a little bit more detail around, say, the E3 time frame potentially. And I think as of recently, there have been a little bit more of a stress on releasing that box art a little bit with the game whenever it's first initially released. But still, in March to have the Steelbook even leaked as well is rather interesting. But I'll leave all the images and links down there in the description below. I'm not going to put them up on screen right now because it's potentially a very sticky situation in terms of copyright because leaks of this kind of nature aren't really anything to play around with. This is a big deal, but I'll drop those links down there in the description below if you guys want to follow along. But here's why I'm not throwing this out the window. Firstly, let's talk about some of the concept art. The logo is a big, big factor here for this and in my books. We haven't actually seen this version of the Call of Duty logo at all to date just yet. The originals had the plain straightforward logo with zero cuts in it like is featured here on this. But what's different about this one is that it showcases a little bit more texture to it. It's a little bit more gritty. The older Call of Duty titles were simply just plain white. There was no real texture on it up until I believe Modern Warfare was when the textures came on. And then of course, World War had that as well. It was a little bit beveled, but this one is a little bit more unique. Additionally, the World War II font below it is not a set font. It's actually stylized type, something that is probably created in Illustrator or something like that, a vector of its own, or potentially a completely custom font made for this purpose alone. And that is honestly a huge giveaway a lot of times for many leaks because it's something very simple enough to do, but no one ever does it. So either this is completely unique or somebody pulled off a great dupe in this logo. Another big thing to take into consideration is I told you guys who leaked this earlier in the day on YouTube and as well on Reddit, the family video gamers, but one interesting thing about this is that this specific fellow who posted the leak initially on the channel and on Reddit was the same exact person who leaked Infinite Warfare last year. They were the first ones who posted the initial image that confirmed Infinite Warfare was the title mixed with a bundle of Modern Warfare Remastered. So if that doesn't do it for a little bit further credibility, there's not too much more that will, but I'll give you that little bit further proof even still if you guys so want that. Now, I've done my fair share of debunks in the day, and one of the biggest factors is that people often use plain as day assets and images. A lot of the times, things just pulled from Google Images or something like that. So I decided I'd check these out and reverse image search them and see if there was anything that was a match at any point in time. Well, it turns out, out of the 18.2 billion images that were cross-referenced via the tool that I use, none of these struck any matches completely making them unique, or at least to the pixel configuration matching that the tool uses, a complete unique asset. So 
There, in my mind, is more than enough proof to me that there's no real copy and paste job done on this. And to me, I think this is actually pretty legit. I think this is gonna be something that we can look forward to seeing even further down the line in the Call of Duty world. But many people are saying this is something from Saving Private Ryan, which it does maybe look like that, but I heard this and then actually just before recording this, watched the entire D-Day sequence of the movie. So I saw no likeliness of it, no frames that matched, nothing that would warrant a direct call to that situation. And by all accounts, this just seems super genuine to me. If it's not, then this is definitely one of the best dupes ever in Call of Duty history. But that is where we're at right now as a Call of Duty community. Call of Duty World War II, straightforward to the point and oh so nicely to the roots of Call of Duty. That's where we stand right now and that's where we're gonna wrap it up. I would love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys hyped for this? Are you guys hoping this does in fact come true? And are you guys as stoked as I am to get back to the dirty gritty world war that we've known for so long in Call of Duty. I would love to hear your thoughts down there. Drop whatever you have down there in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe because we're going to be keeping you guys up to date with everything you need to know here regarding COD 2017. And of course, as that information comes out, I'll be bringing it to you guys as quickly as I possibly can. If you want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me here outside of YouTube. And honestly, probably a lot faster to get some of that information if you guys want to keep up to date with COD 2017. 17 stuff as it comes out. I practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, or just get that minute by minute update of anything COD 2017 related, make sure you follow me. Link is down there in the description below. And finally, if you guys want to check out either of the two videos on screen right now, one will take you to a little bit of a live stream I did earlier today in which we played a little bit of a Michael Myers new brand new game mode in Modern Warfare Mastered, and one will take you to a little bit of a debunking of a video that we did on COD 2017 being Chemical Warfare, which a day later, we see is almost certainly not the case. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Might as well be Coli Espresso. Take care. World War II, baby. We're going at it. Let's go.